program who are Jews, who are Christians, Muslims. who are secular. Yeah. Uh, I get people write to me from Afghanistan who listen to my program. Serious, huh? You know, so we got people all over the world. Some of them know about Islam. Some of them don't know anything. So uh, I see. Okay, okay. So all I right. wanna. All right, hold on. It's telling me, please wait. So. <laughs> all right. All right. So I want to. Okay. Well, tell me what your name is, sir. Uh, my name is Shamsi. Shamsi, yeah, and brother, uh, we are here. YouTube, we're, brother Shamsi. We're, what's that? Brother Shamsi. That's what brother called. Shamsi. I'm here with Brother Shamsi in Speaker's Corner, yeah. and he is going to represent the perspective of Sunni Islam, and tell us what it is that you believe. Okay, so now I was going to talk about Islam and Judaism, but no problem. I'll, I'll tell you. No, we can so talk I, about that. After, no problem. No problem. Let's start with the basics. No problem. As, as a Sunni Muslims, okay, we believe, of course, in the five pillars of Islam, which is we believe that. Uh, we should worship, yeah, go, uh, count. yeah, worship God alone, worship okay. Allah alone, and to not associate anything as a partner with Him. So any act of worship has to be directed to Allah, and we believe that you should not worship Prophet Muhammad, that will take you out of Islam, or Abu Bakr, we're not allowed to worship anyone or anything beside Allah. Wait, wait, you said Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr is the one of the Prophet Muhammad's companions. Okay, so you can't worship Abu Bakr, you can't worship Muhammad. What would be another example of something that you, people you... look up to is like uh, uh, Omar one of the Prophet Muhammad's so disciple, which is uh, 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 the Sunnis, we look up to him as one of the great companion of Prophet Muhammad. So you don't worship him? No, no, we don't worship okay. anything, okay? So we accept Allah, of okay. course. And we testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. That's the first is pillar. That the second? Well, that's the that's first one, yeah. So okay. it's two testimony, but it's one pillar. Okay. And also we uh, do five daily prayers, okay? Yes. Also we give a charity, and we believe uh, to fast the month of Ramadan, and to go Hajj. You know the pilgrimage. Pilgrimage to Mecca. Yeah, to Mecca. Yeah. If you're able to do so. Okay. If you're able, I mean physically and financially. Okay. okay. Also, we have the course of which called six pillars of faith. To believe in one God, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, and the God of Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, all of them. And to believe in the angels, like Gabriel, all the angels. But we... Is something? What's go, something going on? Yeah, something so going on. Every Sunday. Sunday. Every Sunday. Is there a riot or something? Yeah, sometimes they have things. It's, it's, a, it's a... Excited. Anyway, continue. Continue, continue, continue. It's more So deep, believe in God. Yeah. Okay, believe in the angels. And believe in the, the books, <laughs> like the Torah. <laughs> believe in the Angel. And yeah, the yeah, scripture that was given yeah. to the prophets. Yeah. Believe yeah, in the prophets goes. and messengers. Like Adam, Noah, uh, Abraham, Moses, uh, Jesus and Muhammad, and all of them. Okay. Wait, wait. So, so that's really interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. So, do you believe in, in the prophet Isaiah and Jeremiah? Jeremiah, yeah. Yes. So, do you believe those books are accurate? Or no, no. We believe that yes, God gave them a book. We believe they were inspired by God. However, the the books that you have now, which is called the Old Testament, we don't believe everything in it. Okay. okay yeah. So, also we believe in the. And the New Testament as well. You don't believe everything. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. We don't believe everything in the New Testament. You believe the original. Uh, Tanakh and Old Testament, most, uh, Old Testament, Old Testament. I believe were in the Torah. True, but they were correct. Yes, that's correct. correct. So I believe that so the, the God no, gave a book to Torah to Moses, and other books they were uh, uncorrupted, but afterward they became corrupted. So, yeah. so I've been told that some Muslims no, believe got, that uh, uh, Isaac was a. You know, there's a story of the binding of Isaac. Okay, what's going on here? The police here. Okay. So we have the story of the binding of Isaac. In, a, in Judaism, and, yes. and so I was told that some Muslims believe in the binding of Ishmael. Of Ishmael. Yeah, of the sacrifice, the history, the, the story of the sacrifice. So that wasn't Isaac, Isaac that was. Yes, Isaac. we believe it was Ishmael. Okay. Yeah, we believe it was Ishmael, that's correct. And so, so, so believe in God. Is that in the Quran? The Ishmael one, yes, it's in the Quran. The, 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 but it doesn't say Ishmael. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but where does it say Ishmael? Uh, it's in the Sunnah, the prophetic okay. tradition, yes. The okay. prophetic tradition mentioned that. Is that, is that said, like the Hadith? Yeah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu which is part of Allah revelation. Yeah, because what Prophet Muhammad, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, Prophet Muhammad said, I'm the son of the one who is, the sacrifice, the son who's the one who is gonna, uh, his father was about to sacrifice him. Which is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's lineage doesn't go to Isaac, he goes back to Qaeda and Ishmael. So okay. let me just go back to it in general. Sure, yeah, so yeah. believe in God, so believe six, in the angels, six, six pillars, yeah, okay. of the heart which is called. Yeah. So the, the five pillars are mentioned no for the outward actions. Now the six pillars of the inward, Believe in God, believe in the angels, believe in the messengers, believe in the books, and believe in the day of judgment, and believe in the pre decree. That everything that occurs within the creation by God's permission. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I think you came the wrong day. <laughs> okay, there's some kind of a ruckus there, but we're going to continue if that's we'll continue. okay. Yeah, no problem, I don't mind. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's what we believe, yes. That's yeah. the Islamic yeah. uh, uh, belief. And uh, also we believe that, uh, which is, uh, there's a pillar called Ihsan. 
Ihsan, which is meaning uh, completeness. So you worship God as you see him, if, even though you do not see him, he surely sees you. So uh, Islam, as you see, like, you know, you know, when you imagine now, I want to do, uh, rob someone, I want to steal. I remember, no, God, I can see God. Meaning, I have that belief that I know God exists. You know, some people believe in God, but they don't have that belief that they, they, that God exists, because he's watching them. God is watching them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you have to have that belief. You believe that God is watching you and God is there. Ihsan, yeah. Which is complete. So, so there's three levels. There's Islam, Iman, Ihsan. The five pillars of Islam, the six pillars of Iman, and the pillar of Ihsan, which is the perfection. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the seventh? Oh, no, no, this is it. No. It is. One of the six. No, this is another uh, pillar of. Uh, let me make it clear. Sorry. No problem. There is a three levels. Okay. There's called something three levels of religion. Okay. Three levels of religion. The first level is the first level of Islam. Yeah. I'll tell you in one minute. Hajj, Hajj, Hajj. Jamal. We're on the radio. Thank you. Radio? Yeah, radio, Hajj. I'm not going to laugh. This is not a joke. 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 بارك الله فيك ف الاسلام وكذلك الايمان عمو جمال عمو جمال عمو جمال فيرست ليفو از اسلام which is called the five لو سمحت يعني no the five pillars of islam okay. which is the outward actions okay. the second level which is called pillars of al-iman of faith okay. yeah, which is inward actions okay هي okay. الايمان yeah. yeah. and also you have the last level which is the level of al-ihsan which is okay. the highest level. Okay. When you start worshiping God, as you see, even as you see him, even though you don't see him, he surely sees you. Meaning that you have that belief that God is there, God is watching you, and God watch every action. So everything you do, you do it for God. Okay. So when I'm gonna yeah. help someone, I do it for God, yes. Yeah. Now you said you wanted to talk to me a little bit about Judaism and, and Judaism, Islam. but also because and you mentioned that Shia spoke to you. Yeah, so I spoke to a Shia, yeah. and he told us that uh, the Sunnis were, were um, murderers and liars and a yeah. bunch of things. People can go watch that episode. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because you've talked to me right now about all these things of faith and what you believe in a very positive way. Yeah. And his perspective was definitely coming about how, how, how Islam has been falsified and what you think is Islam is false. Yeah. And he didn't start, actually, I don't know if it's entirely fair to say he didn't start, but to some extent he was telling me about here's what we're not. Yeah. And here's where the f fake people are. Yeah, so yeah. I appreciate that you're telling me in a positive way. Of course. So of course. Yeah. tell me about um, your perspective on the whole Sunni uh, uh, um, Shiite divide. To be honest, I have many videos, me myself, debating. Okay, so where's your uh, YouTube channel that people can find? Yeah, my YouTube channel is DUS Dawa. DUS Dawa. And how do you spell Dawa? Dawa, D A W A H. And tell yeah. us what Dawah is in Arabic. Dawah means in English. Invitation. Dawah is Arabic. Oh, right, right. So Dawah is Arabic for calling, right? Yeah, for calling and preaching. Okay. Yeah, teaching. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so it's sort of like evangelism, but in the... Uh, yeah, in a way. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, okay. in a way, yeah. So, so, so what we believe that... Uh, uh, I believe Shi'ism is something which is came after. I believe Shi'ism is a heretic uh, okay. group, okay? okay. And uh, clearly, you, you saw, I don't have to... Because, of course, some people are going to think I'm going to be biased. Because I'm a Sunni, I will tell you, go ask them question. The question that you ask them, tell me your foundation of your religion, then ask him to prove his foundation from the Quran. I've been asking this question to Shi'ism many times. Your foundation that we have to only follow the household of the Prophet Muhammad, and it's more important to follow than following his companions. So where Allah says that we have to follow Al-Bayt. Al-Bayt means his household. The household of the Prophet. Prophet yeah. okay. It's not there. They say it is permissible to call upon Ali. They say we should. To call, to call, now, yeah, to, to, to call upon Ali. Okay. So I say we shirk, right? Which is called shirk. Yeah, you know that. Right. Yeah. So in Hebrew, we say shituf, which is partnership. Which, uh, how do you say it? Shituf. Yeah. Shituf is partnership. Yeah. Okay, it's partnership. So yeah. we could. Shirk is probably a translation of Hebrew. Yeah. No. 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 I don't know what. <laughs> Maybe the other way around. Is that the way? I think ours came first, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, and that, and that came from this idea that there was um, an early uh, or a certain, certain period of, of rabbinical Judaism, there was this thing of a they don't primordial even know why man. They and there was this idea <laughs> that, that Jews were worshipping the primordial Adam, Adam Kadmon, okay. as kind of like a co creator almost with God. And, 
And so that was the most uh, online. Yeah, Gam so all those shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All she took. Yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 but it's one thing. Yeah, so, yeah, the one so they say it's okay to put the hand. So where is the proof for that? The hand wasn't up. And clearly, both said, do not pull up on anyone besides him. He called you for the house? Yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah. So, is that, so like, I don't want to go too much in detail about them. As I've mentioned, I'm going to be biased. Tell me what you want. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, you believe in God. Absolutely. We believe God is one. Yes. And we believe God is perfect. I believe God is perfect. Okay. My question to you will be regretting. Regretting. When you regret. Is regretting perfection or imperfection? When you regret. Okay, so it talks about. Uh, well, actually, before we get that, I want to ask a more basic question. Okay. So in, uh, I have a class, by the way. Yeah? Okay, I'll open. Uh, uh, 20 minutes. I got 10 more minutes. Okay, what's the time? Let me just check. Four past I have a class. Yeah. 20 past six. Yeah, yeah, okay. go on, go on. So in Exodus chapter 20 in Torah, uh, God says to the Israelites, 600,000 Israelites standing in Mount Sinai, He says, "I know Ki Yehovah Elohecha." I am Yehovah, your God. And when he yeah, he knows, he knows, Moses, he knows. Moses, Moses, what's your name? He says, Yehovah, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Yehovah, the God of Isaac, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, Zeshni Lulam, Zeshni Lulam, Zeshni my name forever, my memorial, my mention for all generations. Is that the same as the God of the Torah? I believe so, yeah. I believe the God of the, 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 the Torah, the Bible, is the same God as the Quran, is one God. However, as I've mentioned, I believe some things have been attributed to God in the Torah okay. or in the Tanakh and the New Testament push God free from it. For example, free from it. Free, free from it. Okay. For example, regret. Regret we know. Right, so it says in the Torah by Yinachem, uh, he regretted making man. Okay. Okay. Not this one, not this one. Which is more clearer, the one in Samuel. When God said to uh, Samuel to appoint Saul, as a king over the Israelites, okay? okay. Well, they're both very big. One is choosing the house of David, and the other is the destruction of mankind in the flood. They're both very big incidents. Yeah, yeah. And there's also a statement in Numbers that God is not a man that he should regret. Yeah, or yeah, the so, man he should lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is the book of Numbers, That's number. 1923. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one. But Respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, which is, he said, yeah, yeah. I, the Lord, greatly regret him, for choosing Saul as a king. Why? Because he turned his back on me. Five months so is your so position God can't regret? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not about cannot, cannot. It's about that, that, that oh, yeah, position. Yeah, 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 because regret, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you don't know the yeah, outcome yeah. of something. For example, I'll tell you, you yeah, know what, look after my camera. Yes? By the time I go yeah, to the show, I come back, you took my camera away. Now I, say, I regret for letting him look after my camera. Because I never knew you were going to do that. So when you look to the context in Samuel, the reason God regrets, because uh, because Saul Turn turned his back. his back on him, but God knew Saul is Saul is saying, Why is he regretting? So this is a question for philosophers. I'm a text person, a philosopher. Um, Moses was not philosopher. No, he was not a philosopher. Yes. Yeah, so no, but but this is really a kind of question that Maimonides he, he writes extensively upon Saadia Gaon, who was a rabbi. He wrote extensively on this question of about. It's, it's the so challenge. you're going to ask him? It's the, no, I don't care about it. Oh, okay. They oh. debated the question of pre, how can you have free will and God determines everything in advance. This is, you know, no, no, it's a different subject. But a philosoph that. No, no, it's the exact same subject. It's a philosophical question I'm not really interested in. I don't understand quite how God works. I'll tell you that straight up front. Um, my view of it is that God is perfect. And that's true. That's, that's, you know, this and you agree with so, me so, on so. that. This called what? You are an Arabic for fitrah. Which is a natural inclination. Yeah. Every born, every baby is born with it. That naturally, God is perfect. That's why, not because I'm a Muslim. The only, because you know, the natural inclination is like a padlock, right, right. and you need that padlock to be open. I believe the correct key for it is Islam. I understand. You know why? No, no, yeah. not because subjective. No, it's, yeah. it's obje objective. You know why? Because eventually, uh, uh, with the proof that you believe. So let me ask you this. Wait, 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 let me finish. Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> Give me time. You know? okay, sure. Because God. You, God regretting, that is not the nature of the Most High. I will give you another one. Do you believe the Kibla was originally a foot and then was later changed to a Makkah? Before I will tell you. So but God changed his mind. No, 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 that's not changing his mind. That's an example, no. Before we go to that. I'm saying, for another one, which is, do you know how the language came about? You mean the mixing of the language of power of Yeah, how it came I, about. I yeah. So God looked, yeah, that's it, and 11. He looked off on the earth, yeah. and he saw people speaking one language, and, they, and, and, and they, start, they, start, what they start doing, they start building tall towers. So he said, there's nothing to stop them right now. 
So he said, ask, go down and confuse them. Yeah, but the question, God is not worried if you speak one language or two. Rather, that story clearly taken from the Sumerians. Because Sumerians used to believe if you be taught... So you don't believe in the power of Babylon? No, no, it's not about that. I, I don't believe God is... Is, is, God, is that in the drama court the power of Babylon? We know about Babu, yeah, as we mentioned about uh, uh, like uh, the Islamic history. No, 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 no. So you don't believe that? No, no, I don't believe because I don't believe God is very worried about a group of people speaking okay. one language and building the tall towers. You know why? Because that was the belief of the Sumerians. The Sumerians believed if you build the tall towers, you'll be able to reach God and to overflow God. So that shows it in the context. God was very that worried. That actually confirms the story is true. That's what I'm saying. Words, we have an historical uh, see? evidence of a group who believed they could build a tall power, and then we see that all these languages are mixed up. Like, like you see that? So, so, we don't, we don't so, know. So, 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 uh, 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 no, no, wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> I know you didn't expect to be here. No, wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait. I'm going to give you all We're the kids. First of all, first of all, so clearly that you can see that in the, in the Old Testament, the way God is being spoken about is not correct. Even you, you, you want to just go Kibla, Kibla, forget Kibla. No, no, because I'll tell you why I want to do Kibla. You brought up something where God said one thing and said, hey, I'm going to now do something else. And you have the exact same thing with Islam. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. No, 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 I'm not talking about God, God changing legislation because I believe God is the most wise. So some legislation was perfect for that time. What was the word? Legislation. Legislation. Yeah. Okay. So legislation was perfect for that time, okay. but afterward God will give you another legislation. It has no problem with that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about God regretting. And, and I think we're in agreement on that. In other words, I believe that God is doing certain things to Noah and then other things oh, to Abraham. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. 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 and here's where we're going to I believe the seal of prophecy My with phone, Moses. Yeah. We're in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 2. He says, don't add or take away to anything that I command you. And Amos and Isaiah and Jeremiah, none of them could change what was commanded to Moses. They could tell the people repent, and they could tell them what would happen in the future if they don't repent, but they couldn't add new instruction that was different than what Moses had commanded. And you believe Mohammed was the last one. Okay. Is but, that right? Yeah, I believe. But what I was going to say, so you are... Jew. Uh, no, but which group? Because, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, some right. We call it Semiryun. And no, 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 no. I'm a Karai. Right. So you Kera, believe the last uh, prophet is Moses? Uh, so you don't no, believe? No, no, I, no, no. I believe in all the prophets. Ah, okay. Of the Tanakh, uh, but I don't believe the prophet had the authority to add okay, or take so away commandments. You believe all of them came to to follow the Mosaic law? They came to call the people to repentance yeah. and tell them what would happen if they didn't repent. Okay. So correct me if I'm wrong, yeah? So you believe there are five books? which is called Torah, yeah. was given by God to Moses. Correct. Correct. So what about the story, the end of Deuteronomy, when it says Moses died, yeah. and he was 100 and such, yeah. and the Israelites cried for him. Yeah, to Joshua. Right? No, the, the rabbis differ. They no, don't, they no, do no, 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 not all of them, not all of them. Not, not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. I'm, not, you, I'm not a rabbinical yeah, uh, So my question now... I don't believe in the Talmud. No, no, I forgot about Talmud, but I'm saying, you don't have no proof, clear-cut proof, that, so therefore, you just contradict yourself because you told me the Torah was given to by God to Moses. Well, but it was that, revealed over a period of 40 years. I understand that, but and, it was not given to God to Moses. Down. Well, no, when it says, and Jehovah spoke to Moses saying that was Jehovah speaking to Moses. No, no, my, my, when, when it out. says that Moses went up to the mountain, that was presumably, well, there's two opinions. One is that Moses wrote it in tears. Yeah. I don't believe that. It's possible, but I don't believe it. Yeah. The other is that Joshua wrote those verses. And Joshua is a very important figure. Uh, yeah, because, Yusha, Yusha, ben Nun. Yeah, so Yusha, ben Nun, yeah, Yeshua, yeah. When, he, when God spoke to Moses face to face, and it, yeah. we're called the tent of meeting, Joshua, Yeshua, Yeshua was in, the only one in the tent was Moses. Yeah, but uh, no one, to be honest, that bit, of course, different because even you can check. Yeah, so, sure, those couple two opinions. Yeah, it's opinions. There's, about a, there's a statement you have two views to get three opinions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's true. <laughs> so, let's so, go back to the main point. So, I can establish clearly that what Allah said the Quran, that the Jew, the rabbis, they changed the book which God was given to the. Which the God gave, the book? Yeah, the, the rabbis changed it. Too. Then, why did Kerai to the Middle Ages accept it? There's no, there, there's many people accept the book. Doesn't mean it's right. No, 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 there, there were two. We're getting excited. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, so, 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 yeah. No, so even to give you an example, yeah. what is the earliest manuscript that you have for the, the Torah? Earliest, for the Torah? For the earliest complete manuscript? Manuscript, or partial yes. manuscript? Complete manuscript. The earliest complete manuscript is, might be the Leningrad Codex from 1005. Yeah, which is literally 1000 after Moses. Oh no, it's three. Mm -hmm. 
I'm bad at math. 2,500 years after Moses. So, okay, so the complete man. Yeah, of course, there's of course. There's pieces of it in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I understand that. Scrolls, yeah, yeah. Like we have all of Isaiah and the Dead Sea Scrolls. The yeah, first yeah. of the Torah, and I don't know if this is actually correct, because there's a bunch of manuscripts that haven't been dated yet. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's, let's that's true, say, that's true. Let's that's say it's for argument's sake. 2,000. 1,005. 500. So you're telling me you are taking someone's speech who came 1,000 years after Moses, and he says Moses Moses said this and Moses that. Oh, it's 2,500. Yes, correct. So you, so you have no problem. It's like, you know what is it? It's like me telling you, Prophet Muhammad did this and did that without any person between me and oh, Prophet Oh no, Muhammad. there's lots in, in between. Oh, you don't know that? No, but I, I do have one. No, you, I don't you, know, you don't know, yeah, you don't know you who the man is. Yes. Yeah. You don't know who the uh, complete manuscript. Uh, well, I know, know who, I do know, Shmuel Ben Yaakov, who no, is no, a, who's a scribe in Cairo. No, you don't know that. No, 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 for the business school. No, for the next school, I don't know. No, that's one of the correct. full man, you, you don't know it. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's correct. They are unknown. Yeah. And do you, you know see? the names of the earliest scribes of the Quran? That's the beauty of the Quran. The Quran asks, we do not rely on a mass manuscript that we found in a, in a cave on the water. The Quran well, Allah said. Yeah, there you do, were you always do. Jewish scribes who No, no, this came years. after. You know, uh, anyway, Allah said the Quran, that the Quran, it is preserved within the breast of, this, of those who have been given knowledge. So in Islam, from day one, Prophet Muhammad, he, he used to receive the revelation. So I was talking to somebody earlier who wait, told wait, wait, me a story finish, finish. about how You're too excited, man. Finish. I am excited. This is cool stuff. <laughs> how often do I get to talk to a Muslim expert? <laughs> no, I'm not an expert, by the way. You seem very you, you know, you know, I, I, yeah. I follow, uh, uh, I'm an Orthodox Muslim. Uh -huh. Yes? As many people, they think I'm, I'm very knowledgeable. I'm, you know, there's many, there's my teachers, even people like me, way knowledgeable than me. So I think if they come down to speak corner, they will look it down then. Because if people think I'm knowledgeable, then let alone about the other okay, uh, anyway, teachers. Let's, let's, let's anyway, the, uh, so my yeah. point here is yeah. that uh, the Quran, from the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, used to receive the Quran, read it out to his companions, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Zaid, Muawiyah, write it down, read it out back to him, and memorize it. So uh, hundreds of Sahaba memorized it, thousands of Muslims, and the Muslims from a day one used to sacrifice their life, they were their family to preserve the Quran. So Quran was passed down to us. Well, that's an interesting argument. Tradition. That's why the, the, yeah. the, the Jewish in Iraq, they come up with the same thing which is called Isnad. Which okay, is the so, Mozart so, 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 text. Well, no, that wasn't in Iraq. That was in Tibia. But anyway. No, uh, 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 the Iraq is uh, Jewish who came with this. Uh, Let, let's not get bogged down in that. So you mentioned how, how one of the proof of, of, of the Quran is people were willing to go to their deaths for it. So one of the arguments of Christian apologists is that there were all these people who saw Jesus risen from the dead and they were willing to go to their deaths to when they were being tortured by the Romans. That was no argument. Rather so than you're you're misapprehending some arguments. I don't think uh, so. Yeah, yeah, because I said, for a certain companions wrote it. Right, right, okay, okay. So we have, uh, the, right. we have the Christians, the Christians, yeah. Mark, Luke, Matthew, John, yeah. none of them claimed they were inspired by God. And we don't even know them very well. But we know Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Abdullah ibn Abi Quhafa. who were willing to be uh, put to death sure. rather than then deny that Jesus was No, I'm not talking about dead. just being deaf, I'm talking about... You don't, you don't believe he was... he never died, right? Yeah, yeah, we believe he was raised up. You do believe he was raised up? Not raised up from dead. Allah raised him before death. So he was never crucified? He was never crucified. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. We will finish with this. Sure. Do you know Isaiah 42? I do. What does he talk about? You tell me. But you said you do. <laughs> tell me what you want to say. What is my Isaiah 42? <laughs> Anyone has a Bible here? Okay, Isaiah 42 speaks about servant coming to glorify the Lord. And it's, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it, the description is given here. One of the main points, there's many to be honest. Yeah. One of them is let the witness and its cities lift up their voice. The village that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants. Kedar is Muhammad. No, no, Kedar is Muhammad. Oh, no. Let the inhabitants of Sila sing new song. Okay? okay. Who's Kedar? It's not Muhammad. It's Ishmael. No, it's not. Oh, okay. You go to Genesis 25:13, yeah. and he said, This is the sons of Ishmael. Okay. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nabiyot. And the second one is Kedah. Okay. And yeah, yeah. You know, but Ishmael is not Kedah. Sure. Kedah is. Okay. So now, yeah. him, him, him. Yeah. Also, Sela, the mountain yeah. Sela, yeah. if you Google it, is in, in Saudi, in Medina, Probably. more specific. Yeah. Okay. So, who is this well, prophet? Well, whatever. Okay. okay. So, so that's Muhammad. Okay. This guy doesn't care. Well, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. so, the Kibla. Tell yeah. me about the Kibla. Why, yeah, was, I told it, why you. was it changed? Because I told you why it was changed. It's like Allah's oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. We have to ask why this is dropped. Yes. Because, you know, first, first when the Qibla, Mecca, was under control of the Quraysh, okay? So they were praying toward what? Toward Jerusalem, yes, correct. So Quds, correct. 
So after in Medina, so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "He wanted badly, like not badly. He wanted to pray toward Mecca." Okay. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told him to pray toward Mecca because scholars mentioned that was as a sign for him that he will overpower Mecca. Okay. So Allah told him to pray because Prophet Muhammad wanted to pray toward Mecca. Okay, yeah. So you believe this gradual revelation, is that right? Yeah, I believe and that, that yeah. And that whatever the last revelation is, <coughs> is that No, right? all of them is the truth, because oh, okay. that was the truth okay. for that time. So whatever is the final revelation is the that's binding what implement, That's it, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so now we pray to, to Mecca, correct. Okay, right. and, and I would say that uh, everything can I, is binding up can to... Can I give uh, me a book, sorry? What is the book? I'll give a book to a brother. My book. Oh, what yeah. is your book? No, I was just going to give you something. Do you have a book in English? Huh? Yeah. Oh, are you Salafi? You want to read it? I do want to read it. Uh, hey, hey. Wait, hey, okay. Are you a Salafi? I am Salafi, yeah. Okay. So, are you Sa of Saudi extraction? No Saudi extraction, because it's Saudi. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, of like Saudi, like your parents are coming here from Saudi Arabia? No, no, I'm Algerian. Algerian? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm working okay. in me as well. Okay, so I've got to ask you here, if you're Salafi, tell me about uh, Daesh and. What is your view on this? Because okay, they were no, Salafi too, right? They're not, they're not Salafi. They're not Salafi. They're actually they're they're enemies of Salafi. They're enemies of Salafi. Salafi, yes. So give us a really, it really, because you got to go, and we have to end this. What is the time? Because my, what well, this is the exciting bit. Get this okay. Right, no what is the difference? What is Salafi? Because every, I should say everyone, a lot of people hear Salafi, and they think, oh, the Salafi, those are, that's, um, uh, you know, the, uh, Al -Qaeda, Al Qaeda, and Daesh. Shabab, Boko Haram, yeah, correct. Yeah, and so a Salafi, there's two, there's Salafis and Wahhabism. And like, they're no, there's, there's no Salafi called Wahhabism. There's, no there's no such a thing called Wahhabism. Okay. Salafis are, quote unquote, they call it Wahhabism. Okay. Right. In the West, they call Wahhabis. It's Wahhabis. Muslims, they call it Salafis. Yes, okay. so let me clarify to you. Salafi means someone that follow the Quran, the prophetic tradition, according to the three generations. Why the three generations? After Muhammad. Yeah, his companions, no, his companions, their students, their students. Why? Because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said the best people is my people and those who come after them and those who come after them. So this is called as Salafu Salih in Arabic language, okay. which is pious predecessors. Okay. 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 You with so, me? So this is why you said you don't pray to like dead saints. 